Hey guys, what's up? I am Nikhil from Dope Motions and welcome to this brand new After Effects tutorial. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to create a 3D motion graphic animation inside of After Effects without using a single plugin. It's pretty easy to create. We will be using some very easy technique to create this animation. So even if you are an intermediate user, you will easily be able to follow this tutorial and create this complete animation. So with that said, let's jump straight into After Effects and get started. Here we are in After Effects. Let's start with creating a new composition called this render as our main render comp 1920 by 1080. Let's go with 30 FPS and let's make this 10 seconds long and hit OK. Then I'm going to create one more new composition which is going to be our shape. So let's call this shape and hit OK. Hit Ctrl Y to create a new solid change the width of this solid to 250 and height to 1000 hit ok then go into fix and preset and search for a ramp effect that is gradient ramp we can double click to apply that let's turn this into a nice um, darkish purplish blue color so something like this and this one i'm going to go with a nice kind of a hot pink one and then drag this point right over here. We I think this is a bit too dark. Now what we have to do is create a 3D cube using the solid layer. So first of all, let's turn this into a 3D layer. Then go right here and turn on snapping. Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. And then I can go in the active camera tab and then change to custom view one. So here we have it. And then I'm going to select the new solid that we created and let's rotate this. So hit R and rotate it by 90 degrees. And then I can snap this right here and make sure to select a point and snap it just like that. Then let's duplicate this again. Hit Ctrl D. I'm going to rotate it to 180 degrees. And then put it at the back so I'm going to zoom in a little bit and then snap this point right over here make sure it's properly snapping from the bottom as well then select that hit ctrl D and let's hit R rotate this to 90 degrees again and then I'm going to snap this point oh make sure you zoom in and snap this point right here so now if I hit C and rotate it, you can see we have a nice cube. Now let's create a top of this cube. So let's close them all. I'm going to hit Ctrl Y again to create a new solid. Set the height to 250. And let's rename this to top so that we know it's the top section of the square. And then turn this into a 3D layer. Hit R to rotate it and then, and then rotate the X position or X rotation to 90 degrees. There we go. And then snap it just like so. So now we have the top as well. And then I can select the gradient ramp, hit control C and then paste it on this one, hit control V. Now I'm going to change the colors of this. So let's change the top one to a nicer, lighter blue like this. Let's drag this point here and let's drag this one right over here. Maybe a bit more brighter. Then select the side one and change this to a lighter blue. So we have this very nice look. Hit OK. Copy this, hit Ctrl C and then I can just rotate it just so that you can see it. Select this one and hit Ctrl V. So now if I rotated we have a very nice colorful cube as you can see so this is our base shape all right let's switch this back to active um, camera that is the default one then go back into our render composition drag and drop in the shape that we have just created make sure to turn it into a 3d layer and turn on collapse transformation now right click and create a new camera 
For the preset, I'm going to go with 135 millimeters, which should look good. And then right click and create a new null object. Let's bring the anchor point in the center like that. Align the null object in the center. Make this into a 3D layer and then parent the camera to the null object. Let's rename this null object to cam control. Then I can press C and let's position the shape the way I want. So I'm going to just move this maybe right over here. Let's rotate it a little bit like that. And I think this is looking pretty nice. Now let's lock this composition, go into view and create a new viewer. And then I'm going to actually lock this one. And let's switch this to top view so we can see our shape like this. And then basically what I'm going to do is create the complete scene using this. So now before we get to the next step, one thing that we have to do is move this anchor point at the top of the shape. All right. So right now it's right over here. So what I'm going to do is select this, select the pan behind tool and let's drag this like that and then move this into the center. So I'm just going to eyeball this. All right. So right now it's properly at the center, I believe. So let's set this to zero. Yeah. Now one way to test this is hit S to bring down the scale properties, unlink this and let's scale this and yeah, it's almost perfect. So yeah, it's pretty nice. Let's set this somewhere around there. Once that's done, let's select the shape and I'm going to hit control D and create bunch of copies. So hit control D and go on and create a multiple copies here. So now that we have created multiple copies, we can add some randomness to them. So we can simply just select shape and then select the corner point and change the way it looks like this. Just try to make it as random as possible. So this is just a basic idea about how you can uh, so I think this is looking pretty nice. And once that's done, I can go back to our main scene and let's adjust the height of all the triangles. I can bring them up and I'm doing this very, very randomly. So I can bring this one up as well. Pretty nice. And now we can select all of them. Hit Control Shift C to precompose it. I'm going to just keep it at precomp one and then make sure to make it 3D and turn on collapse transformation. We can close this composition and then let's animate the camera. So I'm going to hit R to bring down the rotation and let's create a keyframe on the orientation. Go all the way up to 10 seconds and we can, you know, rotate it like this. So yeah, this is looking good, but it's looking very static at the moment. So let's add some randomness to this. So let's go back into our precomp one, select a shape. Hit P to bring down the position, hold Alt and click on the stopwatch and I'm going to add a very simple wiggle expression. So let's go with 0.5 comma 20 and then uh, let's copy this expression. Select the position, go effects, copy expression only. Select all the other shapes, go into edit and paste. And now we have pasted the expression. So now if I go back into our main comp, we can see we will get a little bit of random wiggleness into our shape. Pretty awesome. Now all you have to do is duplicate this at control D and um, you can just simply move this wherever that you want. You can also um, rotate it. So maybe something like let's go with 180 just so that it looks a bit more random here. Let's bring them closer. Hit control D again. Place a copy right over here. Just trying to create a bunch of few copies, make it look a bit more filled up with the shapes. Hit control D again and push one copy back. Let's hit R and rotate it like that. Like around 90 degrees. And I can anytime, you know, go into custom view just to see how things are getting and let's fix this. I'm going to hit C, rotate it, maybe go to top view and place it accordingly. 
control D and because it's a very light, you can create as many copies as you want. Basically, let's go back into our active camera and I think it should look good. I can hit C to select the camera and let's zoom out a little bit. Make sure you select this and pull this down. Then I'm going to hit control Y to create a new solid Call this BG for a background. Let's make it black for now. Uh, I'm going to put this at the back. Okay. I forgot to do one thing. Go into the solid settings. Make sure to make it comp size and hit OK. Let's add a gradient ramp on this one. And I'm going to pick up a nice blue color from here. And for this one, I'll go with the pink. So now we have this beautiful scene, which is looking very, very nice. And the best part is that you can create any type of scene using this technique. So I can even rotate this, you know, I can select the cam control and, uh, you know, rotate it into a different direction, basically increase the size of the shapes, but you know, it looks pretty damn cool. I think the pink is way too intense. I can jump into the shape. Uh, let's select this one and make it a bit more darker. Control C to copy it and paste it on this one. Yeah, that looks much better. And yeah, that is all. And now if you want, you can add in your text. So I can maybe type in something like motion design. For the font, I will use the integral. Let's align this. And one more cool thing that you can do to enhance the complete look is you can go right here. Let's um, duplicate this layer, hit control D. All right, let's go into a custom view so you can see what I'm doing here. And um, I'm gonna pull this up like this. Let's remove the gradient ramp from this one. I'm gonna add a fill on this. Make it something like maybe a blue color and bring down the opacity really low and then I'm going to create a mask on this so select the rectangle tool and simply create a mask like this and then feather this up so feather this really high and now if I go back we have this really nice highlighted which looks kind of cool I think I think I can even make this white so let's make this kind of a whitish blue And yeah, I think that looks much better. So yeah, this is how you can create a very interesting motion graphic scene inside of After Effects using some very simple and basic techniques. So that is a wrap for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, make sure to like this video, subscribe if you're new here and press that bell icon so you get notified. With that said, you can also follow me on Instagram at dope.motions. And if you're feeling generous, please do support us on Patreon as well. All the links are in the description below. So I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, take care and always stay raw, stay creative. Peace out.